Hello, Facebook has a brand new automotive specific product catalog type now and along with that is coming a brand new automotive specific feed format that they are now requiring and in this video we're going to go over the setup of the new feeds within the new automotive specific product catalogs. So most of it is pretty much the same as we've seen before um, using the normal retail product catalogs. I'm going to go into the inventory monitor system, move over to the inventory feeds section of this demo account. And where you're going to find the feed links for this, um, currently uh, for the users that we have set up some um, early stage version 2, as we're calling it, Facebook V2 feeds, um, you're finding these down in the custom feed section. And they'll continue to be found there until we make that the default feed type for all new setups, in which case we'll be displaying it up here where the retail feed is displayed now. And we will designate that with a uh, V2 up there so you know when that change has occurred. But this works pretty much the same uh, just copying feed links, pasting it into the product feed setting as we've done before. So let's just go through the process here with the product catalogs. I'm going to create a new catalog. And if you're still using the old feed types, we just select the e-commerce. That's the retail feed we have been using. Now we're going to select auto. And from within this, we're going to select vehicles, not vehicle offers. The vehicle offers is what's going to be used when um, they allow integration between these feeds and the new automotive section of the marketplace. So I selected vehicles, click next, and decide where that blow up business. So let me see. I'm going to put that with Capital Motors. Give, that, give it a name. I'm just going to call this Demo 2 since I already have a Demo 1. And click Create. Okay, catalog is created. We can now view the catalog. And it starts you out right here, add vehicles. Uh, we could also go into data sources and do it as we're more used to doing it. So we're gonna, um, of course, do the set a schedule. Decide when you want to have that schedule. This is just like the retail feeds. Come back and find your feed link, which again, I'm gonna use it down from the custom feed section here because that's the version two. Paste that into Facebook. Give this a feed name. I'm going to call this my testing feed and start the upload process. Okay, so very similar to what we experienced before. Um, you're going to, when that does get uploaded, it's going to show some diagnostics showing you. Um, both any errors for rejected vehicles as well as warnings for um, things that they would like you to change but is not necessary. Let's take a look uh, at the feed right now so we can kind of see the differences uh, between what we have here and what we had before. So I'll pop open view feed data. So here's our retail feed that we've been using for the last year and Notice all the column headers, none are automotive specific, even though we're sticking automotive data in there. But this is what the new feed looks like. I'm showing it in Excel. And I'm just going to go through each one of these fields uh, here, as well as on sheet two here. I've got some notes for each one. So here, here's the field list. Actually, I think I'll go through the, this first. So the field list and what we're inserting into it. And I've got some comments that you'll need to understand for a few of these. So uh, vehicle ID. Uh, we also have the field for VIN down here, but uh, we're putting VIN in twice because we also use that for a unique ID, and then they require VIN in addition to that. Title and description, we are not changing from uh, the way they were in the retail feed. So again, uh, title defaults to the title tag on the VDP itself. Description defaults to year, make, model. URL is the VDP URL. Make, model, year, pretty self-explanatory. Mileage value is the mileage, and mileage unit, we will always be inserting miles for that. Um, comments on the mileage value. Um, new vehicles, we do not even attempt to get that. Even if they do have a mileage, we will always be using the mileage value of zero for all new vehicles. 
Okay, image URL, notice it has a zero here. It will be able to support multiple images. Currently, we only support one, so we will be sticking the primary image URL for the vehicle in there. Transmission, uh, Facebook wants either manual or add automatic, and that is all they support. So there are some that do get rejected from the feeds right now, such as um, direct drive, which comes back as a value for many vehicles. Uh, fuel type is just what you expect. Fuel type, or, uh, gasoline, diesel, um, electric, etc. Um, if we do not find a value that matches one of these supported values, uh, there are the required values from Facebook, we're going to be inserting other, just like you see it here, because that would be supported. Um, blank is not supported. We can't pa pass up a null value for any of these. These are all required fields, and we can't pass up, you know, possibly what the manufacturer listed it as the fuel type or body style if it is not one of the accepted values from Facebook. So we must use the other in those situations. Um, drivetrain is also what you expect. Um, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, four wheel drive, etc. Here's the VIN. Price is just like before. Address. Uh, dealer address, which this is being added into the interface as some um, new data you're going to have to fill out and uh, provide for all the dealers. We are currently supporting only one address per dealer. Um, that means for multiple location dealerships, if you do want to have separate addresses in your feed, they need to be set up in separate inventory monitor accounts. However, the, the only reason you would need to use address is for those new marketplace postings where they're going to be allowing vehicle or users to search for, I, I want to find vehicles within, you know, 10 miles of my location or my zip code. And that's what they need the address for. It's not going to be inserted in the ads in any way. So this really is not an issue at all that we're only supporting one until they allow posting to the Facebook marketplace from this feed for all advertisers. Um, moving down to exterior color, um, we will always be providing not provided in there, or at least for the time being. This one is not currently supported um, by the inventory monitor system, but again, it will be hopefully prior to when we are um, able to automatically post to the marketplace from the feed. Uh, color is not really something that would be necessary in an ad since we'll always be showing the image there and They'll see a blue car. We don't really need to say blue in addition to that. Um, availability. So this says uh, essentially what uh, in the last feed, in stock, out of stock was. Uh, we're never, never going to put a vehicle in the feed that's not in stock. So this is always going to show as available. State of vehicle is new or used. Um, latitude, longitude, they are also providing. And we will be uh, doing a lookup of these based on the dealership address that you provide in the inventory monitor interface. And then trim, as you would expect, is trim. And so here is what they would look like in the field or in the feed. I guess uh, some of the, like this is how we're having to stick up the address. Price must be in the format of just a number with USD. Um, we're taking latitude and longitude out to four decimal places. Um, and other than that, I, I think everything's pretty self-explanatory in the feeds. Okay, that is essentially the entire process of setting up your feeds with the new V2 feed type into the new automotive product catalogs.